We have created this video as a guide to assist users with the basic setup and takedown instructions of this Jayco 806 tent trailer. Once you have reached your destination and have selected your campsite, ensure that the wheel chocks have been installed on both sides of the tire. Do your best to select an area that is as level as possible. Then proceed with disconnection of the trailer tongue from the tow vehicle and then disconnect the wiring harness shown here. Lift up the trailer tongue as so, so that it is off the hitch. Make sure that the chains have all been disconnected from the tow vehicle. And also the emergency brake cable that is inside one of the chains. Next you'll unlock the trailer and grab the key for deploying the stabilizer jacks. Key is loaded, located just inside the door. There are four stabilizer jacks located at all four corners of the trailer. Insert the key in the threaded part and lower the trailer stabilizers. At this time, if you have rented any additional accessories such as a bike rack or a cargo carrier, please remove all, content, all contents out of the cargo carrier and remove the bikes off the bike rack. There should be absolutely no additional weight on top of the trailer when it has been raised. The poles should be installed inside with zip locks or with Velcro. Once the awning has been lowered, you can start to undo the clips on the sides of the trailer. There's four clips, one at each corner. After unbuckling all four trailer clamps, retrieve the crank key from the trailer door panel and insert the key into the crank channel. The crank channel is located in the back rack right rear corner of the trailer. Start to begin to crank the trailer up. Begin to slowly crank up the tent trailer until the guide wire is fairly snug. Next we're going to pull out the beds on the tent trailer slide outs. The poles are located on the beds and we're going to install the support poles underneath the beds.
There are two holes uh, in the back bumper and the poles just go inside the back bumper and then up underneath uh, into the bed. Once the bed supports are installed, carefully pull the canvas over the outside of the trailer. There is Velcro underneath, uh, underneath the bed to strap the support canvas to. On the front bed, there is two holes located on the front of the tongue of the, of the tent trailer. Put one pole in each side and then support up underneath the bed. Next we will install the awning, which isn't one of the easiest tasks. The white ends of the poles go up against the trailer and the black knobs on the poles are going into the ground. Poles together. Like I said earlier, the white pole goes up against the trailer and then the pole with the black is on the ground and the loop goes up and the male end goes inside the loop and then into the main pole. Once the awning is up, it should like this, look like this. There's three poles on the outside of the awning. And then three poles that go towards the trailer with the awning over top of it. This would be to grab the barbecue from inside the trailer and put it on the outside of the trailer on the hook and then put the barbecue on like so and lower it down into place. Next underneath the back of the tent trailer there is a quick connect for the propane and there's also a T that if you want to use a barbecue and an outdoor burner you can use that. If you're just going to use the burner it's just a quick connect, push in, connect and then connect to the barbecue. Okay. Next would be to remove the half door by sliding it off and put the door in an appropriate place out of harm. And then we're going to install the full door it's located on the ceiling inside the tent trailer. Okay, next we will take off the snaps that are on the large door and turn this and remove it from the guide and then slowly lower the door, guiding, remaining the guide wires, moving the door to the outside. Once the door is in place, slide down the two guides. Turn all the plastic locks into place. Once you have the door into place, put the Velcro on the outside of the door on both sides and all the way down, and then your door is in place and ready for operation. And before you take the trailer down, you put the full door back up into its original place. Uh, the bottom of the door sits in on the rack and the two snaps go back into place on the door.
Next, we're going to install the support poles for the slide outs. So just connect it to the poles, push it back into place. And then up inside, install the poles. Next, there's two fans in the bottom cupboard with lights on them. They can be snapped in place on the support rod. And then just plugged in to the ceiling. Next, we'll just put the couch pieces in place so that we can put the table up. And the table just lifts up. And install the legs and put the table up. Next, on the outside of the trailer, there is a water hookup for city water connection, which is pressurized, and it is located right here. Beside it is a fill-up, where if you're not going to have a water connection at your campsite, you can fill this tank with water, and then use a pump that's located inside the trailer. And next is the power connection, if there is power to your campsite. Closer to the front of the trailer, there is a drain for draining the sink inside. And there is also a drain hose that's located inside the trailer underneath the bed, or the, the couch bed. Located at the side of the trailer is also the settings for the fridge, which can run off of the DC, AC, and the gas. Um, so make sure that your uh, fridge is at the appropriate setting. If you're going to be running it off of the propane, make sure to ignite, push the red ignite button when the setting is on propane. And then there is also a cool button to put it on the appropriate setting. If you're going to be using the propane, ensure that obviously you turn on the propane tank. Uh, if you're going to be using the furnace inside, the furnace will run off of the electrical hookup with the propane on. If you're utilizing the battery, uh, it'll be utilized the battery for a temporary period, but you won't be able to use it for a significant length of time unless you're plugged into a 7 connection for the electrical to a vehicle. This switch inside the trailer located near the sink is for the pump. And beside the pump is the furnace connection, which will just like a house furnace, you can set it at the appropriate heat and make sure that you turn it on on the top of the furnace temperature gauge and then on the bottom set it to the appropriate temperature.